right, so I'm going to be talking about um, WWF Fully Loaded in your house. Um, so this came out in um, July, uh, July of uh, 1998. So this was, you know, around the Attitude Era. Um, so it says it's three hours long. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine matches. Um, so, um, the matches on here, the Intercontinental title match. Um, so this match here would be two out of three falls match. Um, between The Rock, which is a champion, Versus uh, Triple H. Um, I know I, I, I did a review of SummerSlam 1998, if you want to check that one out. Um, but yeah, this one here is two out of three falls. So whoever wins becomes the um, Intercontinental title. The champion, I should say. Champion. Um... So that one there I, I found was quite quite interesting. Oh, very interesting that match there. Because at that time I believe, you know, the, the uh, DX, you know, D Generation X and um uh, D Generation X and the Nation of Domination, I believe, had an uh, were having around that time I think a feud, you know, between the both of them around that time. Um so you know, this was probably, you know, like I said, uh, about, I would say, uh, a year, year before The Rock kind of went on his own, you know what I mean? Like, um, it became, I would say, you know, around 99, sometime in 99, late 99, beginning of 99 was when he started, uh, becoming more popular with the fans and sort of, you know, people started liking him in that. Um, back then, you know, when he was with the Nation of Domination, you know, he was a bad guy, but then all of a sudden, you know, around 99, when he kind of broke out on his own, he started becoming more popular, more, you know. Um, that is a hardcore match. Um, so hardcore stars on opposite teams. So Scorpio and Farouk, which, <clears throat> yeah, Scorpio and Farouk, which Farouk at that time wasn't in the Nation of Domination. I think he left. Or they kicked him out. But he wasn't in the Nation of Domination. Um, Scorpio, who um, used to wrestle in um, ECW back in the day before this. Um, he used, I'm not sure exactly when, in 94, 95. Wrestled, he wrestled in ECW, I know that. Um, and he used to be back in 96 when he started. Flash, what was it, Flash? Flash Funk? Um, so he used to wrestle as him. So them two faced off against Terry Funk and Bradshaw. So that there was quite of a good match, you know, a legend, you know. Um, he, he was still wrestling. I um, mean, you know, he retired, came back from wrestling and so on. Um, and he was still wrestling and he started wrestling this time, you know, when he started was back in 1965, I believe it was. Um, but that there was quite of a good match. Hardcore, you know, kind of like anything goes match, which I really love those matches. Can end up anywhere. Now there's a two stars of Entertainment Clyde. Val Venus versus Double J, Jeff Jarrett. Um, so yeah, Jeff Jarrett was, you know, then, 98, he was still, you know, in the WWF. He came back in, like I said, left in 90, 1996. Came back, it's weird, because the first time, you know, I remember leaving the WWF back then was 95, you know, after the July's In Your House, which, if you want to check that out, um, I did a uh, review on that, July's In Your House, um, Lumberjacks, um, that one, um, in Your House 2, Lumberjacks, um, a movie review, if you want to check that out. So that was like the last one that he was at, um, wrestling, pay-per-view, I should say. And he came back in December of 1995. And he was there until, well, geez, what was it, February, February 
maybe uh, early 96 and he left. Um, now I remember him going to WCW probably 96. Um, and then he came back in the WWF in 90, late 97 or early 98. So he kind of kept going back between uh, WWF, WCW, and he was there till 99, and the WWF went back to WCW in 2000, or 99, I should say, and until, you know, and that was it. But the last time he was in the WWF was 99. Anyways, then there was a DX versus a Nation. Um, Xbox versus D'Lo Brown. And there's a Battle of the Bulls. Vader versus Mark Henry. Not there, that there was um, quite of a match there. Um, then there's um, Ellering's Actions Result in War. So LOV 2000, which is um, at that time, I believe... Hawk and Animal, um, so Draws, I don't think Draws was with him then, um, so it was Hawk and Animal versus Eight Ball and Skull with Paul Ellering, um, so if anybody knows the history, you know, of, um, Legion of Doom, uh, back in the day, you know, WWF, and even probably even before that, when they wrestled in, um, I think they wrestled in the 80s back in, was it, oh geez, AWA was it, um, way back, like 83, 84, I think Paul Ellering was their manager, um, so he, you know, turned his back on them, and that was part of, you know, the storyline there, um, but, and then there was, um, the dungeon, the dungeon match, uh, um, Ken Shamrock versus Owen Hart, um, so this was in the, um, infamous Hart Family Dungeon, where, you know, lots of great wrestlers trained there, you know. Um, so the special guest referee was Dan the Beast Severin. So, um, if anybody knows a little bit about UFC, because Ken Shamrock, back in the day, 90, 1996, I believe, 95, 96, he was, you know, in UFC, I remember that UFC was in, as well as um, Dan Seffram was also in UFC as well, Ultimate Fighting Championship. Um, so he was there as well. Um, so that there, I found, was quite interesting match there. Um really interesting um two great wrestlers again you know like I said, Owen Hart you know great great wrestler um, and then there's um skin to skin skin to win I should say um Jacqueline versus Sable um is it so that match there pretty much that was, you know, man, you got to see that to believe. Just, man, it's, that was a good one. And of course, Jerry the King Lawler um, was the judge of that one. <laughs> but that one there, I have to say, what was a really, really, really good one. So I can't really get into much detail about that one. So you got to, um, and I can't really show you the back of it. Um, so you got to um, just... It might be on YouTube. I don't know. I'm not sure. But you got to see it to believe it. It's, it's, it's probably, I would say, in my opinion, probably the best, one of the best parts of this pay-per-view, I have to say. Um, yeah, I have to say it's probably one of the best. And, of course, um, I would say, and then the main event would be um, tag team champion match. Um, Kane and Mankind were the champions, and get this, they faced off against Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Undertaker. Um, so, The Undertaker and Steve Austin were, you know, um, you know, uh, tag team partners. Um, but, yeah, it's quite hard to believe because, you know, with Steve Austin and The Undertaker, they had so many great, great matches against each other. Because I did see, what's that one, Broken Skull Sessions, is it? With The Undertaker, the, uh, Steve Austin there doing The Undertaker. It was quite, 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 quite interesting. 
Five down. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, great, great, great. Um, three hours. It's three hours long. So this was, you know, July of. Hmm, this came out, you know, July of 1998. But, jeez, hmm, great matches. Um, like I said intercontinental title match. Two out of three falls. Um, The Rock, the champion versus Triple H. Hardcore stars on opposite teams, Scorpio and Farouk <coughs> versus um, Terry Funk and Bradshaw. Two stars of entertainment, Clyde Val Venus versus Double J, DX versus The Nation, Xbox versus, um, it'd be Xbox versus D'Lo Brown, The Battle of the Bulls, um, Vader versus Mark Henry, um, Ellering's actions result in war. LFD 2000 versus 8 Ball and Skull with Paul Ellering, because Paul Ellering did um, manage uh, Legion of Doom, um, and before when they were known as the Road Warriors in um, AWA Wrestling, I believe it was, uh, back in like the 80s, early 80s, like 83, 84, I think the first time when he managed them. Um, the dungeon match, Ken Shamrock versus Owen Hart inside the infamous Hart family dungeon. Special guest referee is Dan the Beast Severin. Um, and then, of course, uh, the candy contest, uh, Jacqueline versus Sable. Um, in the main, the main event on here. Um, but I don't think this, this is in, in order, what I'm saying, you know. I know that the main event was a tag team match um, for the titles, Kane and Mankind. The tag team champions versus Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and The Undertaker. So, let me know what you think of this. Um, hit a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Um, all you people that did, thank you very much. Next, I'm going to be talking about another one. So, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, bye.